Welcome back to Sports Radio 95.9, The Fan. And right now here on the Club 52 Hotline, great friend of mine and the head football coach at FIT. His name is Steve Englehart. Coach, how you doing today, man? Doing great. Doing great. Enjoying this great weather we're having. Yeah, you're not joking. And, and I'll just start with this. How you been the past couple of weeks? I mean, you've been on the recruiting trail with your fellow coaches? Yeah, you know, th- this is a this is a time where uh, spring recruiting is, is definitely important and our guys uh, our guys are out on the road uh, this week. You know, really, you know, spring recruiting is is a little a little different from Division One to Division Two, but you know, Division One, you you know, they're really getting out hard in the spring, and that's this is where they're getting out a lot of their offers, and then they start you know bringing in official visits, there, or they come bring them in to their campus during camps during the summer and things like that. And we'll do much of the same. But uh, right now for us, it's more about just gathering that information from coaches and, and going and talking with high school coaches. And so our uh, we spend a week, a uh, week and a half, um, really hard and kind of flood all the areas that we really want to get to. So um, I just got off the phone uh, with our offensive coordinator, and, and uh, he's walking into his seventh school uh, today. You know, so he, he was up. Up bright and early and got into his first school right around seven o'clock and and walking into his seventh school for the day so if all of our coaches hit about seven or eight schools a day uh, then can go watch some practice and we have about uh, six or seven coaches out on the road right now so that we're hitting quite a few schools uh, per day and we'll hit that for uh, you know about a week and a half two weeks strong coach if I may ask you what's the what's the map like I know it's not just here in the state of Florida I mean how hard do you guys go I mean are you going to Egypt and Tokyo as well I mean how big is this <laughs> map exactly no, not really. I mean, really, uh, as far as w- when we get into our fall recruiting, that's when we will open up uh, the net a little bit and, and get out to some other areas, you know. But we'll um, right now this this week was all focused in in the state of Florida. So um, we've got a, a person in um, you know up around Jacksonville area. We've got a person over in Tampa Hillsboro. Or we got a person in Dade, a person in Broward, you know, a person uh, you know over in the Naples area. We have a person in Orlando. Orlando area, so so those guys are just hitting all that area right now, um, and then we'll do a lot of uh, recruiting. Like we'll get up into Georgia a little bit and South Carolina here in the next you know week, and then also um, you know do a lot of that stuff on the phone. And then when it comes to our fall recruiting, um, you know that's when we'll start kind of start breaching outside of the state. We're here with uh, head football coach at FIT, Steve Englehart, and we're talking recruiting right now. And for some of our listeners, I know we talked about this before, but if you can give us a, a recap of that 2014 class that you signed, I mean, how excited are you for those kids coming here to uh, Melbourne? Well, I think, uh, you know, it, it, once again, I think it's a really good class. I think we'll know more about the class, you know, here in a couple of years. Everybody likes their, their class uh, when they first sign them. And, and, uh, and I think that this is a, a, as good a class as that we'll ever sign, to be honest with you. We have a great mixture of, of defensive linemen and offensive linemen, um, some great kids, great families academic-wise, uh, you know, good character kids. And um, I, I'm real proud of, of our coaches and going out and finding, you know, because here's the thing, in Division Two, you kind of have, you, you kind of have a, a certain, you know, kid that you that you think you're going to get and then all of a sudden it comes right before signing day and and someone swoops in and get them so you have to have you know these these other guys on on the uh on the back burner and and that happens all the time but you know our kids that were on the back burner you know that we ended up getting sometimes you know after we look at it we're like you know what that's probably a better kid than, than what we had that we were looking at in september anyway you know so uh you know, I, th- I think the guys that we've got are, are going to come in and, and do great here at FIT, both academically and and on the field. So, um, you know, the thing is, what we've got about everybody coming back from last year's team. So, we have more time to develop these young men than what we did, you know, two years ago. Two years ago, when we came in, you know, they had to come in and be ready to play right away. And and uh, you know, this year's class. Uh, there's a lot of potential, probably more potential than in the in the past years, but um, we're going to have some time to develop them and, and make some great players out of them. We're here on the Club 52 Hotline with head football coach Steve Englehart with Florida Tech, and you guys also just completed spring practice and the spring game. What were your goals for spring? I mean, what did you want to accomplish going into year two? Well, you know, if you look at the offensive side of the ball, I think what we wanted to accomplish was was really just to expand a little bit more what we started doing towards the end of the year. It took us so long, I think, to create an identity um, 
just because we didn't know really didn't have a good grasp of of who we wanted to be and who you know what our talent level was and and the talent level of our opponents and all those types of things so um about halfway through the year we started figuring out you know what we wanted to do so um i think just expanding off that and i think we we have come light years on the offensive side of the ball defensive side of the ball was was really probably more about uh simplifying things uh so to speak uh, you know just a little bit and then just getting our guys to to know exactly what they were doing and being able to play fast and not have to think because our our defense is really really did a nice job um and had some had some really games last year where I thought that they were you know one of the better defenses in, in the conference but you know then it's a matter of just developing those guys and, and getting them to grow together and I think that our defense grew together this spring and and I think our offense did some things that uh, is going to put us light years ahead of where we were last year in regards to just schematics and what we're doing and, and moving at a faster pace than what we were, were doing at the beginning of last year. You know, what's funny is when I go to the website, floridatechsports.com, it's got the thing like, hey, here's the 2014 schedule. Here's who we playing. Are you sitting there looking at that all day? Like, all right, I got to prepare for this team. Or, or do you kind of chill out now here in the spring? I mean, what do you do exactly as that football coach? <laughs> well, I, I look at the schedule, uh, you know, a little bit, obviously, but um, you know, the, the, there's so many things. Right now, I'm, I'm, you know, planning. I'm, right before you call, I'm, you know, getting all the gear and everything like that ordered for this. That way, when the guys get here, they have all their cleats and shoes and gloves and all that type of stuff. So, getting all that stuff, POs and everything done with that, and then also getting our travel schedule done with with hotels and where we're staying and buses mm-hmm. and and airplanes and charter flights and and all that stuff that I've got to get going. And then I'm also working on actually, believe it or not, the, the 2015 and 2016 schedule. So, Man. you know, t- trying to work ahead, um, you know, with the schedule um, in that regards as well. But, you know, d- definitely we sit here as a staff and we look and we go through each game and know that, you know, game one against Stetson, once again, going and playing them there. Uh, it was a very challenging game last year and had a come from behind win. And we know it's going to be uh, challenging to go up there and play at their place. And then Ave Maria here at home in our second game. And just, you know, going down through the list, you know, you look and say okay this is kind of what we did last year this is what they do this is if they have a new coach uh new offensive coordinator new defensive coordinator you know what are they doing let's try to find a couple years ago where that coach was at and what they did and you know so you try to plan out as much as you can we're here with head football coach Steve Englehart with Florida Tech talking about his football program and you just talked about the schedule who you're going to be playing do you guys have a rival yet? Does this is this going to happen in year two, or do we still need some time before you really start hating some of these teams? Well, I, I don't know that we that we truly have a uh, you know truly have a rival. I mean, you'd like to think that you know Stetson and Ave Maria, uh, you know, two two schools that um, you know here in the state of Florida that's on our schedule, and you know we want to win the state. And uh, um, so, so those are two that, that you that you look at, uh, but they're different divisions than us. So you know, can yeah. you really have a rival that's a different division? And then you look at the closest next closest thing, and and uh, you know, you look at Valdosta State. And um, if we could ever get to the point to where uh, we're rivals with Valdosta State, and and Valdosta State feels the same way about us, then I think that we're in a really good position because that's a great program who's who's won national championships. So um, you know. I think it still is going to take some time for, you know, to have that type of, uh, you know, big time, you know, type of rival that you see these other schools have because we are a new program. But, uh, you know, uh, we start winning a couple of these games and then I think people will feel that way. Great answer right there with head football coach Steve Englehart. Well, I know on May 15th, you got the Inside the Huddle Banquet at FIT. Featured speakers, Barry Alvarez and Coach Inglehart. You're talking as well. Tell us about the event. I mean, how excited are you for this? Well, this is a, the third one that, that we've had, and, and it's a great way to kind of get people starting to thinking about football again and, and, and getting leading up, you know, into the summer and August and, and things like that with, with our uh you know, with our fan base, you know, here here in town, and you know, the first year we were lucky enough to have Howard Schnellenberger, and, uh, and nice. then last year, lucky enough to have Doug Flutie, and now this year we have a legend, uh, Barry Alvarez, and and I've heard, I've never met Barry Alvarez uh, in person, but I have heard him speak in person um, at our AFCA uh, coaches convention, 
and a, a great, great speaker. And I think people are really going to uh, thoroughly enjoy what he has to say. And um, as we talked about earlier on the selection committee, and so I'm sure he'll talk a little bit about that. And, and I'm sure people may have some questions about that as well. But, um, you know, a great ambassador for, for our sport and um, does things the right way and um, just a class, uh, a class guy. And, and I'm looking forward to having him here. Yeah, tickets are available at FloridaTechSports.com. Are you going to be picking his brain? I mean, he's a Hall of Fame coach for college football. I know you're going to be picking his brain, man. Absolutely, absolutely, and and more so just about uh, how he how he ran the program, and you know, and he's worked for some greats as well, um, you know, as assistant. So, um, you know, he he's got a lot of knowledge and and just you know different ways that he ran practice and and little little tidbits of you know motivation and. and and motivating guys throughout the course of a season, you know, th- those are the things I'm interested in and, and looking forward to, you know, hearing what he has to say. And, and hopefully we'll get to spend, uh, spend a couple hours together here before this event. Do you have your speech ready to go? We got a couple days left till May 15th. What are you going to be talking about? I, you know what? I don't. It's funny. I was I was just having lunch with my wife, and I said, "Oh, you know, next week is our inside the huddle." I haven't even thought about what I'm going to, you know, talk about uh, with that. But uh, you know, to be honest with you, you usually what comes it, it comes so easy. I mean, this is something I deal with every every day. Is 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 just talking about our program, and it's easy to talk about something that that I do every day. So um, usually, I don't have to think about a whole lot um, in order to you know stand up in front of a group of people and and say a couple words. So um, you know, just talk a little bit about our program and kind of where where we started and where we're at now, and and uh, what the future looks like. So um, I'm excited to to stand in front of our guy, our you know our our crowd, our fans. The, the people that support us uh, once again because it's a fun thing we do every year. I imagine you're up there. Here, here's what I'm going with. Here's it. You're up there and you're like, all right, what am I going to talk about? And then you go, okay, here's what happened. In 07, we're at the <laughs> uni. Here's you like, we're at the uni dome, right? In Cedar Falls, right? And I'm <laughs> yeah. with Indiana State. It's 20 below. We're down 13 points. Is that, look, just kick the ball. Like, that's what I imagine you saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some times where I, where I get up there and just something comes into my mind and then, and then there you go. I'm off and running. But, uh, you know, always, always fun. Oh, good stuff. Head football coach Steve Englehart with Florida Tech Sports. Great guy. And, yes, inside the Huddle Banquet is May 15th at FIT. You can go to floridatechsports.com for tickets and more information. Coach, I appreciate coming on, and I hope I can get you on again. Great. Thanks a lot.